Folks, Joe DeRosa from the Taste Buds Pod here. Your favorite taste buddy, let's be honest. Anyway, I got a bunch of shows coming up across the country starting in July in San Francisco. Uh, I got to take it again. Folks, this is Joe DeRosa here from the Taste Buds Pod. Your favorite taste buddy, let's be honest. Anyway, I got a bunch of shows coming up starting in July, starting in Fairfield, Connecticut. Then I'm on to San Francisco, then on to Los Angeles, California. In August, I'll be in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Uh, September, I'm going out to San Diego. Uh, I got to run through Michigan in November, I believe. Uh, and then some other stuff sprinkled in between there. Anyway, go to joederosainfo.com for all information on shows and tickets. You can buy them right there through the site. Also, Joey Roses, my sandwich shop and social club and bar in the Lower East Side of New York City. Open six days a week, Tuesday through Sunday. Hit joeyrosesnyc.com for details. What's up, Taste Buddies? I have six cities in July. Starting July 15th, we're doing Vegas, Phoenix, and Boulder, Colorado, 15, 16, 17. And then 2021 and 22, we're in Portland, Seattle, and Vancouver. Uh, my first time in Vegas will be at the New Virgin Hotel. That's going to be exciting. They're all on sale right now, and that will be it until October. A uh, bunch of new dates for October through December. They're all on the website as well right now, but I'm finally hitting Canada a bunch. Richmond, Virginia, Hershey, PA, Knoxville, Atlanta, Birmingham, Jacksonville, Tampa, Orlando, Sacramento, San Jose, and Santa Rosa. All those to close out the year. All on sale right now at SavileCanoComedy.com. I hope to see you guys. Taste buds, they come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. Welcome to T-A-S-T-E Buds. Woo! It's a beautiful day today, and it's we're in good mood. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful, who sings it? It's the song in Kingpin, that's all I know. Oh, that, I don't come on, that it. song's been around since the 60s, maybe. Johnny Mathis. I think it's called, I think it's The Rascals. The Rascals. We'll go to the videotape, pimp. Listen, we're in good, something happened, the Venus, is Mercury's in retrograde, you and I are in a good mood at the same exact time. I was, uh, do you have a pep in your step today? I got a pep in my Me step. Me too. I was driving in with such pep. Maybe it's because I haven't seen Pimp in a while either. Maybe he brought, he brought me life, as the kids call it. Yesterday, I was not in a great mood. No. <laughs> Don't take shots. No, this is playful now. You don't need to take shots. There's no shots. Uh, when sh Joe, what, when shots are fired, you'll, you'll know they're fired. Please. Fine. Listen, so, you, so yesterday I was not... So I was very sick for a week. I think I had COVID. The rapids were saying negative, but then I read that Omicron doesn't turn up on rapids. And by the time I was feeling good enough to go get a PCR, my fever was gone and stuff, and my doctor was like, look, dude, you've already quarantined. Like, just do the quarantine. So What's... you don't know if you had it. No, but he was like, look, flu... The rascals. It is the rascals. He goes, but flu season's done. He goes, you probably have fucking COVID, man. Yeah. And then I started reading that Omicron doesn't show up on the PCR tests either. So I was just like... No, that can't be right. Otherwise, the last year would have been like nobody would have had COVID. There's an article saying it. Really? Yes. I noticed we're both giving them the legs today. Yeah. It's, so what's Oh, going by the way, look. The jorts are back. Yeah. The, the jorts are back. are back. And you're going to be in trouble. Hey, hey now. Hey, hey now. The jorts, jorts are back. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a pair of new uh, Nike um, uh, like basketball shorts. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Get up. Stand up. Nike basketball shorts. Usher. Uh, yeah, yeah that's Usher? Nice. Yeah. No, that's Bob Marley. I know you. Come on, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Are you with me today or are you not? But listen. It but was, listen, we're giving them, we're giving them the, the milky white legs today. Rapids may not detect Omicron. I think it's Omicron, and I'm just going to oh, tell Omicron, you. Omicron, sorry. Just for you. I mean, say Omicron. You can continue. Say, say it for my sake. Yeah. But also, too, then I started reading things that said on the PCR it won't show up with Omicron until after you've had... It's batshit. We've all had enough. It's batshit. So anyway, my doctor goes, just do the quarantine. And I go, all right, I'll just do the... So I did. And I you did, did it. I did a strict quarantine. Um, I was very careful. You did a strict team. 
I'm telling you, I saw nobody. Okay. I had food How many delivered. Days? I had food delivered and left outside my door. Okay. I, I didn't see one person. Contactless. For five, by the way, I did a real quarantine. Five whole days after my fever was gone. So I didn't even do it from onset you of You were in symptoms. the house that long? Yes. Luckily, you have the terrace. I didn't even go on the terrace. Get out of here. You weren't stir crazy? Babe, you think I didn't love five straight days of laying in you my bed? You were like, well, I probably have it. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> everybody, clear your... Sc- I'm not going to be around. Yes, yeah, five straight days. I <laughs> laid in my bed. I ate fast food delivery. Oh, I, I know. And you, were in, you didn't have symptoms? Uh, no, I mean, my fever was gone. Oh, I picture you walking around the my, house. My fever was gone. I didn't feel good, but my fever was gone okay, and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, yeah, they, lingering. Yeah. yeah, I had it too. My second, yeah. my second one was... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I picture you. This is what I picture you. I picture you in the house. Mm-hmm. Tidy whites. Close. AC crank. Right. Just walking around, like, going like that, like, walking past your, like, your shelves of DVDs, like, just going like that and be like, what am I going to watch <laughs> buddy, today? Buddy, you're giving me too much credit. I didn't even make it to the living room. <laughs> no. I went. Come on, Joe. Except for the, la- the last two days is when I finally went to the living room. I did full on bed, iPad on lap with the, with the iPad pillow, food getting delivered, <laughs> eating Big Macs in my bed, watching whatever I wanted, playing my Switch. <laughs> it was heavenly. Yeah. <laughs> I in in a dose I get that, but like four or five days of not coming out of the bedroom. I did three and a half of that, and then I did a day and a half in the living room where I sat. Do you need to stretch your gams? I mean, I got up and went walk. Right, but you didn't you yeah. didn't congregate in the living room. You didn't not like. What are you doing? You cranking AC still? Or you got the window open with the breeze coming in. I didn't. I just had the fan on. Yeah, because it wasn't that hot. Yeah, it what wasn't am that I saying? Hot. Yeah. But then then I got hit with the post COVID exhaustion. For a week, you were exhausted from yeah. So that no, all last week I was telling Pimp earlier today. I go, I go up until like this past Saturday, zero stem, dude. I went and did two sets at the at the cellar on Saturday, and I was like, I gotta go home. I have nothing in me. Winded, and like I know, I know I'm off when I think when I get invited to go have drinks, and I'm like, I don't want to. Yeah, that's not you. That's not me at all. And that's then also, COVID, Joe. That's COVID, Joe. COVID, Joe. So, <laughs> so the post stem is that's just Jovid. Jovid, Jovid, I'm gonna keep wine, hitting you with these. Jovid wine teen. <laughs> Jovid, don't say wine teen. That sounds too close to Weinstein. No wine, like I wine. Jovid, wine teen. I wine. You wine like you complain. Yeah, but that's doesn't. That's not. Jovid is replaceable with COVID and Jovid. Not quarantine and wine teen. No, COVID nineteen. Jovid wine oh, teen. Oh, COVID nineteen. Forgot all about. The I thought you were talking about quarantine. I forgot about the nineteen. Yeah, because it's COVID twenty two. I mean, it's you know, COVID wine teen. No, Jovid wine teen. <laughs> but wait, <laughs> COVID nineteen. The nineteen was because of the year. I thought it was. I could be wrong. Yeah, let me see. I thought it was because Yeah, of, but you know what? You're probably right, because then why haven't we heard of COVID-20, COVID-21, COVID-22, and so forth, and so on, and so forth, and so on? No, yeah, it is 19. Oh, well, I guess it's like where it originated. It's like the origin story. Yeah, I don't think you update it with the year. Um, yeah, but the new, the new uh, what do you call those? Variations, variants. But this is a vari- variant of that strain. Okay. But, but so, so yesterday... Was the first day I felt like sort of normal again. I still don't feel like drinking, but like I felt like like I got up, I went, I did a ton of stuff for the bar. Like I was you had moving. motivation. I was moving, and then today I was like got up. I was in a great mood. I was happy to be seeing you guys. I was looking forward to the drive. You know what? Sometimes I love a nice drive. Yeah, I don't care as long as they're not in traffic. Yeah. I love you. Put the windows down, turn that radio up. Yeah, get the breeze going through your curly locks. Yeah, I like exactly. It. Exactly. Uh, let I me wish- ask you a question. When was the last time you drove? Because I don't. You're in an apartment building, and and I've never lived on like even in my last X amount. I've never lived like standalone. Nobody can hear me. So I always daydream about turning this radio up. Mm-hmm. As loud as it'll possibly go. You really let out shit when you do that. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like going to see live music and just going nuts, sure, yeah. which I haven't done. And I, anytime I can get them radio up to a little bit of a decibel level, it really energizes me. So I couldn't do it in the house really like I wanted. So one day I went out, I went for a drive, and I turned the radio up to max volume in the car and just drove on the expressway, scream singing my, my lungs out. And it, w- it felt... 
like a oh, like a workout. It felt I was it was so much. So let me ask you a question. When was the last time you just sang out loud and turned your car radio all the way up like that? I do it weekly. You turn your radio all the way up I don't ever and t- sing like you're I don't turn like it nobody's to the watching. Max thing, but I turn it loud and I sing and you have sing fun. now? Yeah, and I rap. I'm more, more rap than I sing, to be honest. Yeah, but you, but you really do it. You're not like no, 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 no. You're no, like, no, no. I, what the fuck? What the fuck? No, like, man? like the guy in Office Space. <laughs> yes, I go all in. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, but, but yesterday I was in a great mood. What's that song? It's Scarface, the hand of the dead body that he's rapping at the beginning. Yeah, but there's another Ghetto Boys one where he's oh, in like, traffic. He's in no, traffic. No, no, no. The, that the one hand of the dead body is the one when he's in traffic. Steel is the one they play when they kill the uh, copy machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Die, motherfucker. Die. That's that's one of my favorite parts when the Indian guy goes back up in your ass with the well, resurrection. resurrection. Yeah, <laughs> but no, so but funny. there's a, there's another ghetto boys one you're not mentioning. They play damn it feels good to be a gangster when they're passing. The oh, disc I thought it was the other one, not damn it. Okay, yeah. and not that one. I thought it was another one, not damn it feels good to be things. Oh yeah. You're right. That's right. Of course, famously. Yeah, those are yeah, the Yeah, not my mind's playing tricks on me. Right, 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 right. Okay. Um, I was in a great mood yesterday until I talked to the drag of all drags, Ari Shafir. <laughs> I mean, it's just... Let's go right there. But you were in a Fear of a Black Planet shirt. Yes. I was uh, Mo- in Montauk last what is year this? eating you, you breakfast. Did you just bogart the story? No, but I, I didn't want to forget it. <laughs> what the hell I was that? A, my ADHD won't let me come back to that. So. All right, go ahead. Uh, bookmark it. You got it. No, go ahead. Let's talk Ari. No, no, no. Go ahead. I saw Chuck D when I was eating breakfast in a small little in cafe. In Montauk. Yeah. <laughs> that's so weird. Straight up, it was like there was like five people in the place. He got up and walked out. I was like, "That's fucking. That's Chuck D." That's and he walked cool. out. And I almost like went out and was like, "Hey." Should have. But yeah. I met Cool Keith from Ultra Magnetic MCs in Katz's Deli once. Wow. That was pretty cool. Uh, Chuck T, if you're watching, and we know that you are, please reach out. We'd love to have you as a guest on the podcast, argue with some foods, yeah. argue about social issues with you. Cool Not argue. Keith. I really get on your side about the social cool issues. Cool Keith, if you're watching. We'd love to have cool you, too. Keith. Anybody. Anybody, <laughs> no, if you're watching. Anybody. <laughs> Famous rappers. Well, anybody. Classic though. rappers. Keith Murray uh, will come on. What? You know Keith Murray? I don't know him, but I met him, and he, he liked the show. And I was like, you're Keith Murray. And he's like, oh, dude. I mean, he, he Jokers, you mean, he likes. Yes. Sorry. I, God I, damn it. That's a real buzzkill when you do that I didn't to mean me. to do that at all. I'm just thinking how large. I know. You did that the I other week him. with Cindy Lauper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you thought she liked the show. Right, right, uh, um, please, Ari. The drag of all drags. Are you going to the game tomorrow? What is the matter with you? But Ari. No, I can't go. Oh, uh, what was that? Are you that? going? Yeah. I took off like two months ago for it. I can't go because I got to do a recording session. I know, I know. It It'll sucks. be a fun little thing. Yeah, I know. I'm missing out on the whole f- thing. Anyway, whatever. Why'd you say what's wrong with me? You thought I was changing the subject again? Yeah. I wasn't. All right. This kid. Me? No, Ari. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Today's like a who's on first. Everybody thinks Ari's this fun loving, <laughs> easy going. <laughs> You've never met a buzzkill like this guy in your life. I told him the other week I was going to get a cat. And I was like all like excited. I go, dude, I've thought about it for literally oh, I remember this. two years. It's off the table. I finally have decided I'm going to do it. I figured out how I'm going to do it. I got rid of one of my chairs in my living room. So I had room for like a proper setup for the cat and all sure. that stuff. Because, you know, I don't have a huge apartment. I'm all excited, dude. I can't wait. I know people that have cats to adopt. There's a cat place across the street from me. They approved me. I can Everything's go there. lining up for you. Everything's lined up. He goes, you're, you're, yeah, I mean, if you want your apartment to smell. I'm like, <laughs> it, it won't smell. And he's like, yes, it will. Your apartment will definitely smell. And I go. I love that you're arguing for you. You tuck your hand yeah. here. You <laughs> dumb <laughs> fuck <laughs> arm that he does that yeah, with. Yeah. yeah, and I go, <laughs> I go, it won't. I go, there's, there's like ways around that now. You can get around it. He goes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, because you're the one whose house won't smell from a cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just kills it. Just kills it. I told him that I go, I go, what are you doing tomorrow? He goes, I'm busy. Why? I go, I got to drive to the Poconos. I'm starting to look at houses out in the Poconos. I think I might want to buy a house out there. Yeah. He goes, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is f- wrong with you? <laughs> well, well. With the house, yeah, again, he's not really, like, getting behind your, what you're doing, but is he maybe trying to give you advice as a friend? That no, he, he's a psycho 
who doesn't know how to filter his thoughts okay. and says <laughs> terrible shit to you that kills your dreams. Right. Uh, now, I'm not going to get into what was going on yesterday, but I was on a text uh, with Ari yesterday. I mean, it was the one I was... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I uh, made fun of a comedy-related thing, and Ari will do this. Ari will get a bug up his ass. He did this to me last Halloween. But I, I saw it. I, listen, I'm not taking any... I see... I, there's good people on both sides. I see... <laughs> I see what was going on, but I, I actually didn't... I didn't necessarily disagree with him, but I also didn't necessarily disagree with you. Oh, you middle-of-the-road no, weakling. But, I, but no, but you know that I, <laughs> I speak truth. I told you I can't just, just do it to do it if I don't really feel it. I'm just going to let it be known, but I can also appreciate it. I was throwing something out to a couple friends that was a... You made me laugh. It was a bashable... In lighthearted, <laughs> like guys, let's just make no, fun I don't of this. You know, there's one person who who didn't join in. Well, let's not talk about it. All right, we won't. We won't. We won't but but that person definitely pled the fifth. But I but I can can I say though that I really well, let me saw tell you, their what was said in side texts. I, I really what was said in oh, side really? texts. Oh really? Oh yeah. Who's on the side? Who who went in the breakout room? I'm not. I'm not going to give away names. What was said in side texts? <laughs> Well, I know, I know. At least was it a side text between one other person or more than one? I'm not going to say. You side texted? I'm not going to say. I know, you, I know what you did. You side texted with two other people. You don't know what I did, and you're wrong. With more than two? Maybe I know who is the one side text was with. But I'm telling you, right. this was a completely stupid. Let's just trash stupid. this. Yeah. And Ari, he gets a bug up his ass where he just goes, "I'm just not going to go along with this." And he just wouldn't. And then Ari does a thing, too, on, on any group text with me on it where he will single me out and go after me particularly hard. He did it last Halloween with the costumes when I let slide that we were going to dress up as dinosaurs by accident. He, Do you remember that night we were hanging out in your apartment? No. We were going to dress up as dinosaurs? Remember we were going to dress oh, up as yeah, dinosaurs yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, I let it slip by yeah, accident? Yeah, yeah. And then there was that night we were all hanging out at the apartment it was you, me, um, uh, Ryan McGinley came over. A bunch of us were hanging out. I think in Bergio came over. We were all hanging out. And we were all drinking and having a great time. And it, but we were also texting about Halloween. Okay. And Ari, like, focused in on me that I had ruined Halloween because I let the costume slip. And he would not let it go and he just kept on kept on to the point where i had to pull up aside several people during the hang and be like am i crazy look at this and people were like i think he just knows he's getting he's you going. just busting your chops <laughs> yeah but you, you fall for it so easy but i riled him up yesterday i finally yeah. got him to crack yeah because i kept being so sarcastic and yeah. being like i'm so sorry ari that i wanted to trash something let's all be positive and i kept saying the positive text and then he finally was like you can keep pushing this if you want <laughs> <laughs> but nobody's on your side <laughs> <laughs> i stand by it I stand by what I stand by my initial text. I, I get stand by all I of get it. both I get both comments. I get both sides. I mean the kid. I can see what you mean, but I also kind of feel the way that he thinks too. His defenses were so bad and he did the th he did the thing I hate where I kept saying, "Yeah, but what about this?" and he kept answering a question I wasn't asking, and yeah. that was like his defense. He, it was just bad defenses. It was just yeah. bad defenses. I wonder how, because people don't have context. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering over here, is this like a confrontation that was broken down later, or is it material that's being broken I'm gonna down? I'm going to say it right now. No, 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 don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want any part of that. No, no. You don't reveal stuff like that. All right. There's not even a general. What, you, what were you going to do? You, what were you going to reveal? Just say what I said. Not the topic of conversation. I actually don't think I said anything bad. You didn't, but I don't. I I, I operate on. I operate on. Right. <laughs> well, you didn't agree with me, though. I didn't. So there, you got nothing. But to worry nobody about. needs to understand even the like. All right. what, what, even the, <laughs> nobody needs to even be in the neighborhood. <laughs> All right, I'll give a. I'll, I'll give an analogy. An analogous. And then, is that a word? Yeah. 
Okay. I think so. Analogous. Really? You think this kid's going to hey, spell no. this right? I, no. Look at him going to I'll the give search. You, I'll give you 20 tries to spell analogous. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> <laughs> today is something's happening today. <laughs> he, he spells analogous on the first try. He can't spell the on the first try. <laughs> Lucky. Anal O Gauss. That was wild. Wait, you, did you start to do it and they pre-populated the rest? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> so you got an assist. Let's just say Okay, but I don't know I don't know if you're capable of giving a proper analogous. Listen, we're not on the we're not live. Pimp can cut it out if I oh, fu- yeah. if I, I screw it up. I mean, why uh, even yeah. play with fire? Huh? Why even play with fire? But okay, go ahead. It's not even bad, but you let's know, say I, you were making like, fun of let's say you were making fun of who's making fun of what? Let's say you I'm just this is my analogy. Okay. Let's say you were making fun of the filet of fish. Okay. And that was your whole thing. Man, the filet of fish, McDonald's. I didn't even realize I was doing it. <laughs> oh, we know. And your whole thing was the well, filet of way, fish sucks. By the way, McDonald's going to chip in and send you something? I know. Let's go. Oh. McDonald's, he's mentioned you for two years. <laughs> by the way, one of the fans said, why isn't Joey Rose is a franchisee of McDonald's? Oh, it should be. <laughs> we could be their new Chipotle. You know what you could do? I don't know how you would do this. I don't know how you would do it, but you should serve McDonald's fries. Ooh. I wonder if we could cross promote. Some of the ch- big box stores on the Lower East Side where we are will do a cross promotion with independent stuff because they want to be accepted in the neighborhood. Uh, I wonder slimy. if we could get the Lower East Side uh. McDonald's to come in on a cross promotion. Sure. Oh, my God. Oh. You should throw up a party one time when McDonald's have the fucking characters there and everything. Come That'd on, Joe. Stick with me and I will give you all the ideas. Hold on. Go Maybe for my birthday this we, year? We, it's, <laughs> wait, it's, hey, should it's we your have birthday a, hosted by Ronald McDonald. Should we have a grown-up McDonald's party for uh, my birthday? 100%. 100%. 100%. <laughs> oh we'll get the whole, all the characters there. We'll have them cater it. Oh, my God. <laughs> It'll be great. It'll be great. There'll be prizes. We can hand out coupons for Sundays we'll and stuff. give out happy meals. Yeah. Wow. All the top comedians in a ball pit. Oh, um, how hard do you think it is to get the characters to go out? I mean, you just could rent you, the costumes could you, could and you, pay people. Could you, could you portion off part of the RV and make it a ball pit? Amazing. Holy shit. I don't it's know. It's fun. I could do something. It's fun. Put a ma- Pimp, can you please make a note of that so we do not forget that idea? Because we will forget it. I mean, it's a pretty broad, big idea. I don't know if we're going to forget it. Um... Wait, what were we just talking about? Better help, better help, better help, better help, better help, better help, better help. Wow, that's a jingle you just made up? Yes. Right there. Let's talk about ways to take care of our own minds, Sally Babe. Do you do it well? Do you take care of your mind as well as you take care of your car? Because if you don't, I'd like to now bring you a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Uh, your mind is important, your brain is important, and you should be tending to it as much as you tend to all the other things in your life, be it devices or, or activities or whatever it is. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, uh, and let's talk about them. You could learn a new language, you could take power naps, but hey, then there's better help online therapy how we care for our mind affects how we experience our lives why not take the time to invest in your own mental health okay uh i like better help a lot i like that they are making therapy accessible uh i think that's a very important thing i think therapy is not as accessible as it should be we it's know not just accessible our- though it's also very convenience on top of being accessible yes because is another big part of it you know it's you can reach therapists uh all over the country Mm -hmm. you can be speaking to someone within a couple of days um you can you don't have to turn your camera on if you don't want to be seen i find a lot of people that uh have not been to therapy yet have questions about it and some of the things that they Say or like I I don't know who to choose I don't know where to go I don't really want to see people to see me like I, I, there's a stigma behind it that I'd like for it to be taken away and I think but that if, if, you, if you are one of those people that want to dip a toe like yeah. we always say you don't even have to leave your house you don't even have to turn on the camera and you can still just start talking to somebody I agree I agree you can be matched with a therapist too through BetterHelp in under 48 hours that's incredible uh, and our listeners get 10 percent off the first month at BetterHelp.com/slash/tastebuds. <laughs> 
<laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, he just had a sandwich. That's he had a salad. He had a salad with it, and he just, I just saw him eat a a full hard boiled egg in one bite. Uh, BetterHelp is also more affordable than in person therapy. Yeah. So anyway, ten percent off to our listeners for the first month at BetterHelp.com slash taste buds. That's better dot com slash taste buds. Let's talk about noom. <laughs> Noom, noom, noom. Let me hear you say whale. Whale. <laughs> noom, I, noom, there goes the room. Oh, wow. Noom, noom, noom. Let's go back to, to my room so, so we can talk all, all night. night. And it can make me feel right. <laughs> all right, folks. I like noom. I like what they're doing. Noom shakalaka, uh, there goes the chief rocker. Keep it going. <laughs> Uh, I like Noom. I've just used, talking about them. Yeah, I've used Noom. In fact, uh, I've gotten some great recipes from Noom. You uh, talked about Noom. I'm not joking. Two minutes ago before yeah, this came yeah. out. <laughs> I didn't realize they were on today's uh, episode, so that's that that was unprompted. But I, I, I like Noom quite a bit. Um, they're a psychology-based approach to losing weight. I think it's a very, very helpful approach for a guy like me, for a guy like Sal. Uh, we're, we're people that tend to emotionally eat, and that doesn't always mean sad, that doesn't always mean I'm depressed, so I'm going to go eat a cake or something like that. Right. Sometimes it just means you get ex- you're excited about the evening, and you equate that to eating a bunch of stuff that isn't great for you. You're excited to go to the movies, and you equate that to now I need to eat a bunch of candy and butter right. f- covered popcorn. Uh, you're excited to go to the beach, and that means you've got to eat tons no. of uh, 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 you know uh, hot dogs or whatever and it is Noom breaks all that down right it gives you practical yeah. knowledge it helps you build a more sustainable like it helps you build better long term habits and behaviors for the way that you eat yes right yeah uh, it's uh, scientifically proven principles like cognitive behavioral therapy which is great te- therapy i've actually done that in my past and it helps people better understand their relationship with food why they eat what they do uh, and it's a weight loss journey. Well, that's, that's the one thing that that I think that uh, res- we're responding to Noom for, at least I know, is that like it is, it's it's a given that we're going to fluctuate in weight over time. I fluctuated like my whole life up and down fifty pounds. My whole life, at any given moment, I'm on that scale. And we're not striving for perfection. It's a journey. This is right. what they say. So you don't beat yourself up over something because it's not restrictive dieting or anything like that. It's just more of a changing of the way that you. Your relationship with food. It's a journey. Weight loss is a journey. A they journey. understand the journey is difficult, and that's why they take this very unique, very effective approach. More than 60% of users lose 5% or more body weight by 16 weeks in, and more than 60% of users engaged with the program keep that weight off for at least a year. Noom is grounded in science. Let's Yeah, let's, let's, let's scroll down a little bit, Pim. Which is great. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's important. You know, science is a big is a big factor in all this. One thing I liked, it's just like these little tips that you learn, like why water based or or water heavier water foods are better to snack on. Like for instance, like they talk about like raisins versus grapes, and they're like, if you want a snack, eat grapes. Why? Because grapes are whatever percentage water, and you will fill up a lot faster, and therefore ingest. Less calories, less whatever, right? Whereas raisins, nothing wrong with raisins if they're natural raisins, but they're tiny and they contain no water. So you're going to eat a lot more of them to get full. You fall off track to get you right back on. Again, it's about progress, not perfection. Uh, They empower you and it is all flexible. It shouldn't be stressful. Start building better habits for healthier long-term results. Sign up for your trial at Noom dot com slash taste bud that's n-o-o-m dot com slash taste bud that's start building better habits for healthier long-term results sign up for your trial at noom.com slash taste bud n-o-o-m dot com slash taste bud wait what were we just talking about mcdonald's and your birthday (laughs) oh oh my analogy (laughs) my analogy no 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 my analogy (laughs) filet of fish by the way (laughs) yeah filet of fish only McDonald's item I've never eaten. Only never even took a bite. Never. No, not curious. No, I, 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 it's not my style. I want no parts of it. It's I, just not. I, for I me. feel like I've never ordered it, but I feel like I've chewed it. Even as sense? a kid, I hated fish sticks, fish patties. I just yeah. know it's not for me. Yeah, you know, fish sticks that came around on because they're really not like they taste like fried anything. You would think I wouldn't like it. I was a finicky eater, but uh. at this age, if I was really like starving and like. 
there was fish sticks and cocktail sauce or tartar sauce, I'd eat it. I don't remember the last like, time I came across the fish stick in the wild. Are I, you? I've never. I don't. I've never come across one in the wild. I know. Always one. been. My mom bought them and made yeah, me eat as a them. Kid, yeah. There was like a, 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 a like an illusion or delusion that they were healthy for you at one point. Yeah. Fried oh fake God. fish. How marketers convince America to eat fish sticks? Since they were introduced in 1953, fish sticks have become an unlikely staple. Today, Americans eat 55 million pounds of them a year, and during the pandemic, consumption has been on the rise. Aru. I mean, look, if you like the flavor, they're a great, <laughs> affordable food. Like, but the problem is, is if you don't like the flavor, you're shit out of luck. Obviously. Yeah, fish sticks. Is it? They were frozen. They're fairly sustainable. The unlikely success of fish sticks. This is an article written in this year. I mean, last year. I mean, this fish sticks have been a topic, like an actual topic. I'm weirdly now getting a craving to eat fish sticks. Of course you are. This is what happens. <laughs> God. What? Oh, my God. You think fish sticks should be in a battle versus anything? But we, neither of us love them. But what is, like, but the battle of the low grade? Like, you know, like, what is, look, for what they are, what is something in the fish stick realm? Fish stick versus chicken croquette. Chicken croquette? You mean chicken potato croquette. croquette? No, chicken. Chicken croquettes. Chicken croquettes. Those are like a frozen chicken breaded thing. It's like a breaded. That's chicken crochet. So, Pimp, if, you're not, if, you, if you don't know, Pimp just pulled up a bunch of yeah, crocheted chickens. <laughs> like yeah, actual things. chickens that were crocheted like those stuffed like animals. Those are like frozen chicken balls that you can get, and it's like. It's like it's like mostly bread. I think that's a good thing to put it against. It sounds the fish good stick. when you read the ingredient. They're well, not bad. I mean, nah, you know. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. But can you or you make it in an patty versus fish sticks? Chicken patty, nah. like the frozen we'll, chicken. We'll patty. figure it out. Put throw throw fish sticks on the docket, and we'll fi- it'll it'll linger until we figure it out. So okay, you're making fun of a fi- a fish fillet. What are you saying? I'm saying this is my analogy. I come into a conversation. I go the fillet of fish sucks. I hate it. Ari then goes, but McDonald's is great. And I go, I didn't say McDonald's wasn't great. I said, the filet of fish sucks. Yeah, but dude, like, who cares? There's the Big Mac. There's the Quarter Pounder. There's the, I know. That's not my argument. My argument is the filet of fish sucks. But at one point he did say the filet, he didn't think the filet of fish sucked. Yes. And I said, this is the kind of thing where we have a conversation about this all the time. For instance, last week you came into the room and said the Whopper sucked. I didn't agree, but I went along with it because that's what we do. I, I don't remember who the Whopper is. I, I, I don't remember specifically, okay, okay. but like my point is, is okay. like that's the, you know what we're doing here. We're having some fun. I'm making fun it's, of something. Yeah, yeah. And what is that? Oh. And he, you know, he went real, he went real, like, like, like literal on it. Like real literal on it. <laughs> oh, Lord. <sighs> you going to change a good mood? No, I'm still in a good mood. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that, that didn't take me, that put me in a bad mood for about an hour yesterday. How do you leave a group chat? I think you just click on the group and you can leave. Oh, really? Oh, no, but you're still in it, though. The second someone chat writes back. I think back, it says they left, no? I don't know. I've never. That's something else. I never left a group you chat. You never left a group chat. I don't. I, I don't think so. Really? Oh. You just slide on the name and you can delete Get rid of it, yeah. yourself out of it. Oh, really? Or no, I, delete I mean, another person out of it. Okay. Well, well, you might have to be the host of the chat to do that. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, but it's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day today. It's a and good day today, today we are battling Roe versus Wade. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't mean to make light of a serious thing. We're battling. Yeah. No, yeah. No, no. That's, yeah. What? I'm, but we wouldn't be battling Roe versus Wade. We'd be battling Roe versus Wade versus. I know. It's a joke. Yeah. Oh, no. I guess you would be battling Roe versus Wade. Although I don't know. I liked it. I don't know the semantics. Yeah, it was a dumb joke. <laughs> I don't know the semant- I don't know the semantics. Of, 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 I, of, I know the outcome. I forget exactly. You're like the guy in Goodfellas when Pesci goes, make that coffee to go. And then the guy actually grabs the pot. And Pesci goes, the fuck are you doing? He goes, you said to make the coffee to go. He goes, it's a fucking joke. You're like that guy. Another, <laughs> is that another analogous? <laughs> analogous. I know, Joe. It's I'm not making a, a joke. Now. I know. <laughs> you, we are. 
Let's stay on the same page. We're all over the charts, babe. All All right, what are we battling? We're doing Olive Garden Italian Kitchen. I didn't know it was called Italian Kitchen. The Olive Garden versus Outback Steakhouse. Oh, boy, man. We I have been waiting this, to do this one. We posted this weeks ago. We posted it, and we couldn't get to it, and we both did not look at the results. The results have been out there for a few for a couple of weeks, and they did a 24-hour cycle, so the results should be in the tens and tens and tens of thousands of votes. Um, there's a lot to cover here, and I don't know. Where are we now, Pimp? About 30. All right. all right, there's a lot to cover here, babe. All but right, let's get into this battle. All right. Without further ado, here we go. B-A-T-T-L-E, Buds. By the way, sorry I was sick on the last episode, everybody, and thank you for understanding. I appreciate it. Olive Garden, you're going to step in the ring with me defending the Olive Garden? We- Are you nuts? I'm ready to go, bro. Are you nuts? This is a restaurant that just about every Italian-American has denounced. <laughs> I know. As disgraceful, as offensive. It's the thing to do. The ad campaign has become a joke. And I got to tell you something with Olive Garden. Once you get past that, the, 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 the um, gimmick of bottomless salad, which, by the way, after a bowl, you've had enough. Untrue. Uh, after you get past the gimmick of bottomless salad, you, you got nowhere to go at Olive Garden. All right. First of all, let's just start a little bit more broad. We're doing Italian cuisine versus Australian cuisine. Well, no, with steaks, steakhouse. Ah, but it's, it's with an Australian theme, but yeah. it's not Australian cuisine. Ah, but it is, right? No, it's it's Outback Steakhouse. But, but, but what is Outback? What, what steak does Outback have in the steakhouse? Where, where's it? Why is it? Why is it, why is it deeming itself Australian? They just thought like it was like a rugged theme for a steakhouse chain. Do you know that? Well, let's look at it. I don't up. have my glasses, so you got to go big, large font print. It's an American uh, chain of Australian themed casual dining <laughs> restaurants serving American cuisine. Wait, wait let, me, let me start from the beginning. Let's go. This is going to be so much fun this episode. Outback Steakhouse is an American chain. I just said that. Of Australian themed casual dining restaurants serving American cuisine. That's what I just said. Based in Tampa, Florida. Yeah. I mean, that is, sounds like the worst sentence to describe a restaurant I've ever heard. I want to see the lo- chain has over one thousand locations in twenty three countries throughout North North and South America, Asia, and Australia. Imagine going to an Outback in Australia. <laughs> it's an Outback Steakhouse. Give me a break. I it mean, was founded yeah. in March nineteen eighty eight with its first location in Tampa by Bob Basham. It was owned and operated in the United States. But you cut out three of the other founders. Well, I mean, we don't need to. Go, oh, wait, 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 scroll back up, Pim. A little bit more. They opened in Canada. Oh, I just, okay. It was acquired by Bloomin Brands. Okay. Because all you got at Outback Steakhouse, you know what you got there, right? You got the Bloomin' Onion, and then you got nothing else. Listen, okay. I, don't even, I don't even F with the Bloomin' Onion when I go pasta in there. Bloomin' Onion can kiss my ass. Pasta can be, pasta it doesn't. There's no. There's no crazy formula to pasta. But if you're gonna get a steak, a cut of beef, a choice prime USDA cut of beef, the right way, you're not gonna go to Outback for a steak. And I got news for you. You want to get pasta the right way with a decent marinara or a decent piece of meat or fish with it. You're not going to to to, to Olive Garden. I d- here's what I think. I think Olive Garden is a punchline. It's been for a long time now. But I think that. It doesn't even matter. I think that even people who use Olive Garden as a punchline once in a while can find themselves there, and they don't even mind it. And I'll tell you another thing. Once in a while, I think people are like, I would go to the Olive Garden. I could go for it. I think you get equal versatility in both restaurants. I think you're shortchanging the Outback's menu. Outback has chicken. It's got steak. They've got ribs. They've got seafood. They're serving tuna sashimi now. They've got all kinds of stuff. When you see that. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's, let's go. The- Olive Garden started as a unit of General Mills. The first Olive Garden was op- uh, was opened on December 13, 1982. In Orlando. It all starts in Florida. Wow. In Orlando, by 89, there were 145 Olive Garden restaurants, making it the fastest-growing uh, General Mills restaurant division. Olive Garden restaurants were uniformly popular, and the chains per store sales soon matched former sister company Red Lobster. The company eventually became the largest chain of Italian-themed full-service restaurants in the U.S. Keep scrolling, Pim. General Mills spun spun off its restaurant holdings, blah, 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 blah. 
standalone company. By ninety by two thousand nine, Olive Garden was Darden's most ex- inexpensive restaurant chain, with an average check per person of fifteen dollars versus ninety at its sibling Capital Grill. These things are all in the same conglomerate. A former president of Olive Garden said that sales in existing restaurants sharply decreased, with a twelve percent decline occurring at one point, even though the company was quickly establishing new restaurants. All right, give me a little bit more juice on it. You Let's- got you got nothing when it comes to the locations in, in advertising the and marketing. Okay. First of all, their original slogan was "Good times, great salad, Olive Garden." Look at that! How that sad blows. is your restaurant when you got to put salad in the logo? That's what you're selling. It's a pasta place, and they're pushing <laughs> salad. Nah, they're here's, pushing salad. Here's, here's the thing. First of all, whoever came up with "When You Hear Your Family," give that person a raise. Okay. Everybody knows that saying. I like the saying. I joke. I did you ever? One time, I found myself in Times Square, and I don't know why. I don't know why, but there's an, I don't know if it's still there. There was an Olive Garden in Times Square. That thing, by the way, you can't, it's harder to get into than Rayo's. Right. You can't get into the Olive Garden in Times Square. So, so one time I'm there and I'm like, I don't know if it was on a lark or we just really wanted food. I don't know what it was. We went to go online there. The lady tells me it's a two, two hour wait. Oh. To eat, it's a it's a three story restaurant with about a thousand seats. She tells me it's a two hour wait. I looked her right in the face. And I said, "This is the way you treat family." <laughs> it's listen, it's- but I will tell you, the never ending pasta bowl, boom bap. Okay, never ending you're, you're, salad you're, you're and breadsticks. Gimmicks. You're but working. Can I all tell you, gimmicks. I really like the salad and breadsticks. I think they do a really That's good fine. job. That's I think fine. they do a really good job. That's fine, but you're working all gimmicks. You go into Outback. The gimmick's it's not like, a gimmick. That's a state. It's an institution. No, any, anytime you got to put never ending and all you can but eat. It's, all you can, it's, been, it's been never ending salad since day one. It's not a gimmick. Never ending pasta is a gimmick. Never ending salad is a gimmick. It's a gimmick that gets that catches your eye. It, it's it's never ending pasta was a huge gimmick they did that started in 2013, according to their Wikipedia. I mean, dude, look at this. You honestly let's, think... Let's, let's go menu to menu, okay? Classic right. entrees. So we're in a picture menu right now of Olive Garden. You Tell me how many of those you actually think look appetizing. If that was shown to you and you didn't know it was on Olive Garden's website, you would think those are classic Italian dishes. Don't, no, no. Don't, no, Joe. I want no. you to be honest. Joe, the if I want Marcello, anything from you today on this day of Marcella, our Lord, I want chicken, you to be honest. The chicken marsala looks like Salisbury steak. Um, scroll back up, pimp, please. The the chicken Alfredo, the tr- chicken and shrimp carbonara, um, the fettuccine Alfredo literally look like they have milk poured on top of them. Nah, come on, Joe. Uh, the chicken Those parmesan, the chicken parmesan looks processed. Look at the exact amount of sauce on top of the exactly shaped patties that are identical with the exact amount of cheese on Joe, top. Joe, it's a menu photo. Look at the family style lasagna in the microwave oven tin thing. No, that's, that, like when that's you a nice touch. That's not, that's not what that is. That's a nice touch. They bring out the whole tray for you. It's in the disposable freezer it's, aisle it's, thing I, that you buy at the store. That is not disposable. I guarantee you that's hard. I guarantee you that's a you pan. You think that's hard, Tim? I think it's a pan. You think you're getting hard tin? At the I know I'm getting hard tin. You're out of your mind. You think they're bringing out foil? Sal, that is a disposable oh, is. two dollar. You buy it and throw it away. T- Stop it! Stop it! I, all right, but my, Stop my it. point is, I think it's a nice touch. Stop it! You're, you're, what you're doing is you're buying you the whole. You think that's lasagna. a nice touch? If you put that on the center of your table at a dinner party, I'd spit on your table. That's and not walk true out. at all. That's that's not true at all. At home, we make lasagnas in those tins. Are you nuts? <laughs> Babe, Are you, nuts? you don't serve a lasagna in a tin like that. You, y- yes, you do. A, you put that a, tin right at the center of the it's table. it's a funeral reception and you're you wrong. go scoop it out yourself. You're wrong. You take that tin out of the oven, you drop it right on the table, and you cut squares right you're out of that nuts. tin. You're nuts. Prove me wrong. Please scroll back Prove up Prove me to wrong. The, please scroll Joe, back to the awful soup. how do you serve your soups? lasagna? How do you cook and serve your in lasagna? In a casserole. In a glass casserole, babe. I put it in a glass casserole. I oil a glass <laughs> casserole. <laughs> You're acting like that's out of line. Look at those. It's not out of line. I, my my, my Italian family cooks a, lasagna in that It's not out tin. of line if it's a couple of pals getting together or you and your lady <laughs> or whatever cooking for yourselves or maybe you're making something for the kids. To serve it at Olive Garden is out of
Why? No, I think it's a nice touch. I think it's a touch look of home. Your horrible soups that look like they were poured out of ch- uh, chunky. I think uh, I think Campbell's that you can run your mouth all you, all you want, kid. but if Ugh. that if that wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> are you going away this summer? Did, did that did that full hard boiled egg you just eat? Did that come from the Hello Fresh? <laughs> my Hello Fresh in the, in the it, Did you pull an egg out of my brown bag of one of my Hello Fresh meals? No, I did not. But Hello Fresh is selling is sending you. Uh, those types of delicious meals. I just had a wonderful salad with some egg and some other things, and it was great. Uh, and uh, are you going away this summer was the question I was going to ask. Why? Because maybe you want to get into the shape you want to get into. Maybe you don't have time to do the, all the cooking and the whatever, blah, 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 blah. Or maybe you just want to receive kits where you're going to. Whatever. You think your kit that Hello you use. HelloFresh is there for you. You think that you guys have a lot of recipes using other kits. HelloFresh has 30 recipes more than any other meal kit plan, okay? They have summer recipes like cucumber salad stuffed, pita pockets, chicken sausage stuffed peppers, Tuscan spice shrimp, and so much more. HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant. It's even cheaper than grocery shopping. The newest menu releases include Mediterranean recipes filled with fresh fruits, veggies, nuts, olive oils, and fiber-packed whole grains for a nourishing balance. Customize your favorite dishes with Hello Custom Offerings. That's new. Uh, by swapping out one protein or a side or something for another. Protein or side, whatever you want to do, you can upgrade to a more luxe experience or even add protein or a veggie to a meal. That means more choices, more variety, more meals truly tailored for you. The point is, is HelloFresh is flexible. I'm They'll back. start sending your kit that you get in one place to another place if you're there for the summer. Whatever you need, they got your back. So oh. go to HelloFresh.com slash TasteBuds16 and use code TasteBuds16 for up to free 16, 16 meals. Free meals. That's 16 free meals. And get three free gifts. Again, HelloFresh.com slash TasteBuds16. Use code TasteBuds16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Gifts, America's number one meal kit. You ever been in a pinch for cash? I have been. And when everyone I was, has been. Everyone is all the time. Everyone. I've never met anyone. There's like no people that are not in a pinch for cash. Uh, and and by pinch, uh, you know, I'm talking. You, you get hit with some unexpected expenses. Sometimes it's a tax bill. Sometimes it's medical a, bill. A tax wedding, bill comes out maybe of nowhere. A gas, maybe it's a medical bill. Uh, yeah, That's another thing. Bill, gas forbid. prices the way they are now. Maybe you're just someone who's trying to fill up your tank and you're on a budget, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, now gas just doubled in price. Or and also, like, sorry. No go. Also, it, do, it did just <laughs> double in price. It did. Yeah, I know. I know. I just said that. I know. I'm agreeing with you. It's wild. I know. It's. If you used to throwing fifty bucks in your car a week, now you're throwing in a hundred over the course of a month. That's two hundred bucks a buck. If you're on a budget, where is that coming from? Anyway. Hindsight is twenty twenty. You can't change the past. But what if you could get a little help from your future self? Maybe you'd ask to borrow a little cash. Now you can with Dave. Dave is That's a right. banking app that can help you get up to five hundred dollars. Instantly with extra cash. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, you need a little room, elbow room to breathe, a little buffer, whatever. Dave can help with some more money to fill your tank, to buy the wedding gift, maybe to plan the wedding, to catch up on bills, whatever it is. You can finally tackle. Any of those bills you've been stressing out on, I have you hung up a bit. There's no interest and there's no credit check required. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get financial relief they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and need some extra help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from future you. You can finally tackle some of those expenses that have been stressing you out without any hang-ups. Folks, again, we've all been there, especially with the last few years we've all been through. Download the Dave app from the App Store right now. That's D-A-V-E. Sign Sign up up for for an extra extra cash cash account. Sign up for extra cash account. Say it again. It's good. And get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfers, instant transfer fees apply. Banking provided by Evolve member FDIC. Future you will thank you guys. If you didn't see this page, if I just showed you these stock photos, you would say these are stock photos of, of meals. 
Oh, you wouldn't that's be like, what you want in a restaurant is stock thing. photos. You let's, want let's stock pull photos. Up, let's pull up Outback. Go then. to the picture menu of Outback. Let's uh, go. Outback. Let's go. Because you're going to serve yourself the same thing right here. Please. Look at that. Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> that looked terrible. <laughs> it looks like he's throwing <laughs> diarrhea on top of a steak. <laughs> Are you kidding fair. me? That's not fair. Why is it not fair? Oh, that is literally picture. apples to apples. That's one What picture. was that unidentified brown liquid pouring over the top of that's that steak? That's one picture. I got news. This is just as bad. It's the just same the same photographer. Look at you. <laughs> it's the same photographer. <laughs> uh. It's the same photographer. It's Come on, hundred percent the same photographer. Why does that ribeye have red stuff on top of it? What is it? It's ketchup know. on top of the steak. <laughs> and you're telling me those aren't? That's not frozen broccoli. You know it is. Uh, you know it is. Uh, oh, listen, come on. I can't. You can't, can't say shit. I can't you defend can't it. I can't defend it. I can't. These pictures are terrible. Oh, look at that. That looks horrible. <laughs> that looks like they scooped out of a TV dinner. I can't defend it. Oh, Go ahead. God. Go to town. I went to town of yours. Go to town of mine. It's right. awful. I'd I mean, rather eat it at Back Steakhouse. What, what, what is that plate? Is that a plastic Is that a plastic microwavable plate? I'm going to say it's an iron, uh, sk- uh, like one of those metal black uh, iron things. Oh, I hate that when they do, like, the thing with the sauce in the plate. Look, dude. Ah! Ah! Did you see that? Look at the tin. Look at the tin. They're serving the mac and cheese out of the it's same the tin same. they're serving the lasagna. It's the same for Touché, time. bitch. It's the same for time. I mean, yours looks like, literally, it looks, th- th- this looks like, like, school cafeteria food. That lobster tail You know tail it looks does. Good. That lobster tail looks good. That looks like something out of a school cafeteria. That lobster tail looks good. Well presented. The Bloomin' Onion, I've never been a fan. Look, that I, plate looks like, it, 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 serve it in a better plate. See I, that plate? I, that plate looks like that, like a nondescript, like, plastic plate from, listen like. Listen to me. I can't. You I, can't. You can't look, have to those lobster tails look good. You can't defend this, bro. You can't defend that. It's literally the same exact photographer. It's, uh, fair enough. So let's move on. But versatility on the menu. We got steaks. We got lobster. He just scrolled. That ribeye looks he good. He just scrolled a page, and it was just sixty steaks. Aussie cheese fries, Sydney shrooms. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, how stupid is this? How stupid is this restaurant? They have fries, and they got to call them Aussie fries. They, have, and they got to give little little Australian nicknames to regular American how food. How stupid is this restaurant? You're going to say how stupid is this versus the... the, the, uh, the uh, 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 when uh, you're at Outback, I have a question for you. When you're at, at, at Outback, answer me this question. When you're at Outback, are you family? You think I want to be family with the but Olive Garden people? They don't see you as family at if Outback. If you had a picnic... A family reunion picnic. You were picnic. up with friends at Outback. Are they treating if you like family? If you had a family reunion picnic and the Olive Garden showed up, that's the family you said we had to invite them. And you'd hope that they stayed Family's in the corner family. of the yard blood to themselves. Blood. Nobody wants that family at the, at well, the, at well, the picnic. Well, what is that? Look at that caramel mustard glazed it looks, pork chop. It looks disgusting. They look I can't. Like two, they got bloom and fried it, chicken. It literally it's, looks like they literally made a TV dinner and slid it onto a plate. Bloom and fried chicken. It's an atrocity. Look I, at that. What is all that. What is all that stuff on top of the chicken? Oh Unidentified sauces. Oh. oh. Don't get me wrong. I'd go to Outback or, or, or I go to Outback or I'll have gotten tonight the and get chicken dinner. Chicken tenders look good. <coughs> They look flaky and golden. I love that you have fallen so far so fast that you just, to describe your defense to Outback, you said, the chicken tenders look good. Why is that called called Alice Springs Chicken? Is Alice Springs? Because Queensland and Alice Springs is a location in Australia, and they had to keep with the theme, so they're naming things like apple pie, Aussie apple pie. (sighs) The burgers look good. Look, French onion soup. That looks good. No, it doesn't, Joe. All right, Pimp, take us to the phones. This is a... The this phones? Is a, this is a train wreck. You want to go to the phones? This is a train will- wreck. We're at about 40 minutes. I want to see what some people are saying. Uh, I mean, I'm dude... I'm sticking it up now. I, I Here's what I like. I feel like you go to Outback, there's an... Whether it's authentic or not, or whether it makes you feel this way or not, I feel like it makes certain people... I feel it's an old... 
an old world type of theme, and, oh, and the, in, the inside decor. It? The inside Have decor. Have you been in an Olive Garden recently? Not too recently. It's sad, dude. It feels like a Denny's. They they they've gone the way of the dodo. They feel like Denny's. At least with the Outback, there's remnants of their of their Aussie uh, interior there's in there. Not, it's an American and, restaurant founded in Tampa I, dude, that they threw Outback on because they needed an nothing angle. Nothing is more sterile to me than than the Olive Garden. <laughs> I disagree. Garden. That looks Walking, like that looks like the old cut. That looks like Tuscany. To that me. looks like that looks like every. That doesn't sub- look like Tuscany. No, it looks like every suburban neighborhood you've ever been in where look you at go, the stone. we don't know where else to go to eat, and nah. you go into the Olive Garden. I, I like going in there. You know what I like? I just, I don't care. I like little nice touches. I like showing, I see effort. They're going the extra way. I like to sit down, and all of a sudden, without even asking, boom, salad and breadsticks are dropped. And by the way, we skipped the breadsticks. You think, you the think breadsticks are nice. They're, they're all right. soft. They're flaky. They're fine. They're, they're they, doughy. They, they're they, dipped they, they, in oil. I mean, they taste like they're dipped but in they, oil. They, they, they're fine. I, you think Outback's not putting a bread basket down? I don't know about that. They're 100% Pimp. putting a bread basket down. Is Outback putting down a bread basket? Well, they're not putting down a bowl of free salad, which, by the way... The first, <laughs> the first comment already was golden on Twitter. I don't think so. Pantry honey wheat buns at Outback. A honey wheat bread. No, that was a recipe. That sounds delicious. That's what you're getting. You get a loaf. It's a recipe, bro. No, but be, it's a recipe no, for the Outback. No, you're Outback. not getting pantry honey wheat bread. I, I don't know about that. It's a recipe for the bread they put down on the table. It's a copycat I don't know if it's, people are charging for bread these days. I don't know. I'm, I'm telling you, so, dude. But, so you get free breadsticks at, at Olive Garden. You don't think you get free bread at Olive Garden? Sure. Give you, I'll give you the bread. You get your honey bread, okay? But I got breadsticks salad for free. No, no, no. Salad's not free. Salad's not free. You got to pay extra it, it's to never get ending. your meal. But I could go in there with a fucking twenty dollar bill, it's and I can eat until I die. It's never ending for a price. I could go into Olive Garden with a Jackson and eat until I die. They can't tell me otherwise. I will have salad and pasta until I die. Or you can go to Outback and get and two get plates what? of Aussie fries and be just as full. Now, nah, come on. Please. You don't, you don't love just the idea around the romance, around something that's never ending? Like a never ending love? I, listen, I love never ending. I love a buffet. I love an all you can eat. I've always been pro that thing. This salad but I'm telling is good. you, when a I'm, restaurant, this sit down restaurant good. has to do it, it's a gimmick. It's like it's like a, a Golden Corral. It's a gimmick. Don't no you respectable, dare. In, no Don't respectable you dare restaurant compare has all, all you can eat. to Golden Corral. I will all day. Come on, Joe. Be I will fair and analogous. I will all day. I will all day. They got Golden Corral is the meaning of these they worlds. They even play like old it's world Mediterranean. Meets all music you can eat. at Olive Garden. Oh, I, Jesus. I, I'm saying I go in there and I'm immersed in Tuscany is how I feel sometimes. Listen, first comment from Rich. When you're here, your family, <laughs> fuck that family. <laughs> Give me Aussie fries. The sauce monkeys that are Olive Garden never slice the onion thin enough. Two out of ten, out back all the way. Olive Garden is an oh, insult shit. to Australians all over the United States. <laughs> what? That's interesting. That's got to be a typo. I picked Olive Garden because the one time I had steak at Outback, it was thick, tasteless, tasteless. It was thick, tasteless, to- tough chunk of meat. No shit. Their saving grace is the heart attack special aluminum onion. Your entire your thing is a steakhouse. You wanted to say that I lean on salad at Olive Garden? Let me finish. <laughs> your, your thing is a, <laughs> hey, wait, wait. You're a steakhouse that pushes an onion ring. You, your claim to fame is an onion ring, a fried onion at I'll a tell steakhouse. You this right now. And by the way, you pull up the calorie hold content wait, 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 on, on a blooming onion. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. One thing at a time. You're we're, we're on the phone. Outback is out, out, hold on. out there killing hold on. people. You got to give me a chance here. We're on the phone. Olive Garden is the red lobster of Italian food. As a kid, you think it's fancy. When you get older, you realize the microwave is working. OT in the kitchen back there. Outback days, down some A1 all day. Okay, stop. Freeze, freeze. Okay, this person is an idiot, and I'll tell you why. Because he could have gone one more sentence and said, and Outback is the same exact thing. No, it's but not. he's saying Olive Garden is at Outback all day. The, the microwave broke at Olive Garden? Come on, man. Dude, I'm telling Let's you right think now. think of a bolt what they you are. You want to talk Bloomin' Onion? I'm not a fan of the Bloomin' Onion. I'm really not. But you want to talk Bloomin' Onion? Olive Garden, Bloomin' Onion has made it, has, has set its mark in the annals of food history with the Big Mac, the Whopper. It's it's there, dude. It is, when you go, name me a classic legendary dish at an American chain restaurant. Come on. Bloomin' Onion is in top 
ten, dude. An order of an one order of blooming onion is seventeen hundred calories. All right, I, I'm not talking about if it's healthy for you. An Outback Original, our special onion is hand carved, cooked until golden, and ready to dip into our spicy signature bloom. Do you sauce. understand what Blah. I'm saying? Bloomin' Onion is is Jordan Pippin. It's 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 right there, dude. Outback has nothing, How, Joe, Joe. Nothing on Joe, that list. I want to take you serious in these. I want to. You can't call the Bloomin' Onion. Name an Olive Garden. You, you just called Name the Bloomin' Onion. Hour- you just called the Blooming Onion. Are you t- Michael Jordan? Are you telling me in the MVP annals of American restaurant history, the Bloomin' Onion is not in top ten? It's no, it is not Michael You're Jordan. You're nuts. You, you got the balls on you to call the Bloomin' Onion Michael then Jordan. It's, then it's Bill Cartwright. Then it's Scotty Pippen. Then it's then it, I'm just saying it's in the top. I'll give 10. you Bill Cartwright. It's MVP team status. And dude. you don't think the never ending salad and pasta oh, get is? Get the fuck out of here. No. Stop. You're, you're crazy. You're crazy. Olive Garden, when you hear your family, Outback Steakhouse, when you hear you're a middle-aged divorcee burying your feelings in a blooming onion. True. Olive Garden is basically Italian McDonald's pimp. Hold on, scroll back. Italian McDonald's, but I'm a slut for never-ending breadsticks, so go, OG babe. wins. There you go. No joke, I love Olive Garden breadsticks so much. If I had a whole basket, I'd cram them in all my holes and orifices until I look like a GD blowfish. Uh, I'll, side with, I'll slide three breadsticks down my gullet before I go to a restaurant that has a sign that says Aussie rules, even though it's an overpriced dump off the expressway. That they mean Olive Garden. Olive Garden wins off their mozzarella sticks oh, alone. you're nuts. Olive Garden Hold alongside. On a Hold on a second. If you've ever had mozzarella sticks in a decent, <laughs> uh, please, dude. Please. Mozzarella sticks can be good at the Olive Garden. No, they're, they're not. Fried I've had cheese. them. They're not good. Olive Garden, alongside good breadstick, I had a decent meal where they listened to what I ordered the one time I went. Okay. What percentage of Olive Garden menu is prepared in the microwave? All of it. All of it. (laughs) Anyone from Texas will vote Olive Garden because no one here touches Outback where there's a Texas roadhouse ever. That's a terrible argument. I agree. Unlimited soup. I didn't even know about the soup. And they're not even talking about pasta. Unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. You want a deal? Do you want a deal? Do you want to you want to spend ten dollars on an onion for seventeen hundred calories? Or do you want to walk in there and do you want a deal? Do you want to eat until you're good and ready? What I you ask mean? you. In Olive Garden, you can go there and you can yeah. eat as much yeah. as you want. Your They'll only, keep bringing your it. Your only argument is, is that you can go into this place and eat like an endless pig I, until no, that's you're not sick my only to argument. your stomach. That's not my only I'll argument. I'll go into the outback I'm talking about like salad. a civilized person and say I'm spending this amount of money on food and I'm going to have a meal that has limits. I'm sorry if my meals have limits. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about a never-ending salad. I really like the way they prepare it. I'll tell you another thing. I don't think Olive Garden... I'll be straight. I don't think Olive Garden makes everything the best, but I do think that there are items on the Olive Garden menu that are completely passable, if not okay. (laughs) This might be our winner. I've never been to either of my family head class. (laughs) Let's give him the win. Follow at Ice Pack Jack. That's very funny. And give him a retweet, Pimp, if it's not too late. I know this is an old... Olive Garden's going to be carried by the Midwest vote. I took my prom date to Red Lobster 20 years ago because Olive Garden was booked solid. And if you were real late to book as a, as a res- uh, to book a reservation, you were eating good at the neighborhood at Applebee's. All the horse kids were at Bob Evans. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I already... Voted on this, so I can't scroll up without showing you the results. All right, take us to the results. We're about so, there. Uh, Twenty-two thousand right. votes. Twenty-two thousand wow. votes. Okay. All right. Wait, 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 wait! Drum roll this, please. It's humble pie segment. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Oh my God! You yes. got to be kidding me! Yes. No. The numbers don't I lie. I really thought I was going to beat you. Fifty-three point four. Olive. I think we go Garden again. Loses with forty-six point six. To 53.4, Outback Steakhouse wins. Honestly, I think that's close enough to go again. Three percentage points. Well, I am shocked that you no, guys. That's not five percent. It's it's three and a half percent. What are you talking about? That's You've got six. There's a differential of six and change there. No, it's a 50. No, 47 to 50 is yeah. three. 50 to 53 is three. That's six points. Right, I'm just saying. Like, not counting the extra. I'm just saying you have three percent more people. I won by 6%. Right. So, no, there is no rematch. The fuck are you talking about? But you about? took my 3% and you put them on your side. 
I, I don't know what you're doing right now. <laughs> you have to be within 5% of a win to have Is a rematch. Is it five? Yes. I think it's close You're enough not, to get a rematch. It's not. It's not, because that's how rules work. What is rules? What is your you want to talk rules? rules? You lost the first season, and you have yet to do anything about it. Come up with a punishment, There bitch. has been 10 punishments Punish that we come up me, with. Punish me, bitch. I'm right here. Punish right. me. All right, fine. I'm opening it up right now. To, this is it. This is it, and we're doing it. And I'm, But here's the thing. I'm not just taking any... Uh, uh, no, we'll uh, vote. Punishment that comes down the pike we'll, here. We'll vote. We'll, we'll keep it in, the, in Taste Buddy's team. We'll vote. Here's the thing. So lop it off at 52. Whatever the record was at 52, I'm pretty sure he lost. The second season is 53 to 104, okay? okay? So that's where the new one is. Guys, whoever does the great analogies out there, analoguses, give us a record at the end of 52 and from 52 to present. Then what I want in the comments, guys, right now, and... Have fun all you want, but I want you to suggest what could be a punishment for Joe. Anything you want suggested. We'll pluck. But hold on. I think, four no, 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 no. Hold on. There's some rules here. I'm not doing anything that's going to hurt me. You don't have to do. Listen to me. Let me finish. All right. Suggest <laughs> away. Taste Buddies, log on to YouTube. Suggest away or write to Pimp at. Just tweet nope. at the Taste Buds Twitter. Account. Tweet at the yeah. Taste Buds Twitter. We will call all of these things, and we will pick four things that we think are good, and then we will put them up to a vote to the fans. Right, You'll fine. have to approve the four. Okay, fine. You approve the four, and then we will let you guys decide what his fate fine. is, because I have had enough of his talking out of his ass that he has to get punished for losing. What is talking out of my ass? We've had a hard rule the whole time that if it's under 5% in the margin, you do no, a rematch. No, I'm just saying you have not you, had your comeuppance for you, losing the first you season. You like to just push and push with the rules. You go, well, I think six is close enough now. No, it's not close enough. 5.5 5 is not close Enough. I think Olive Garden takes. Less. I think Olive Garden takes Outback on a rematch. I do. That's how based I'm, on what? I'm, based on my my feet. On, my, your, my, my, on feeling, your ego. My instinct. Your ego. Ego. Your ego. Oh, that's what it is. My <laughs> Olive Garden ego. I, 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 I still love you, babe. The uh, episode's off. I love Over. you too. Face <laughs> buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds.